We know, we know. You absolutely love challenges involving food, and today we're offering you something you'll find even more appetizing: 100 layers of food. Monica, Katie, and Ted are having a grand old time. Ah! Hey, 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 hey! Huh? Ted is the happiest of them all, which is understandable as he's got a mountain of burgers. Monica just about inhaled her small serving. That was fast. Though Katie won't be outdone by anyone, and she shows off her skills in quickly destroying food as well. Nice look, hun. Ted wants to make this round as impressive as possible and starts to build a tower of burgers. We've all dreamed of that at least once. <gasps> now it's one thing to build something, but another to make sure it won't come crashing down. Ooh. Oh. That didn't last long, but the taste has not been affected, thankfully. <laughs> Oh wow, seriously? Mentos and Coca-Cola? <laughs> we all know what comes from that particular combo. Filled with fear and with shaking hands, Ted opens his can of Coke. <sighs> hmm, well, that was underwhelming. You can all breathe a sigh of relief, and Ted can sip on his soda, no problem. <laughs> all right, now it's Katie's turn, and things are gonna heat up. That's a much bigger bottle. <laughs> Boom! Hope that was refreshing. Too bad just about nothing at all is left for Katie to drink. Maybe if she wrings out her clothes, though? <laughs> Last but not least in the slightest, we've got Monica. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a massive explosion. <laughs> Guys, you might want to back away from the screens too, just in case. There she blows. Everyone was in the splash zone. Don't try this at home, kids. Your parents won't be amused by the results. Oops. <laughs> We've got ice cream, we've got a spoon. Mm. Mm -mm. But the two don't really match one another in size, do they? Mm. Everyone in our trio has been served up such a pairing. Funny stuff. Mm. Monica gave her spoon a go, but it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's out of here, and she's treating her treat like a finger food. Bit gross, really. Blech. But manners be damned, the ice cream is gone. Everything Ted's got is just right. A medium-sized spoon for a medium-sized carton of ice cream. Blech. What a mess, Ted. Katie, that means you're up. That giant bucket of ice cream mm. is insanely huge, and it's gonna take ages to eat it with that tiny spoon. The other two drift off as they wait. How much time has passed? Whoa. A day? A week? A year? Oh, she's frozen solid. What's with this measly serving? Ted isn't exactly living the dream either. What? <laughs> and somehow Katie's plate is totally empty. How unfair, right? No one is particularly happy, but Monica knows that one Skittle is better than none. Ted, bit greedy, aren't you? Mm -mm. But a showman all the same, too. Now that was quite the trick he just pulled off. Mm -hmm. Things keep getting stranger. What's with the umbrella? Huh? I don't think rain was in the forecast. Well, regular rain wasn't at least, but a Skittles downpour has already begun. 
If only bad weather was always this sweet. Candy rain and ice cream blizzards. That would be awesome. Yeah! Ted, Monica, what's with the faces? Yeah, a few candies went places that perhaps they shouldn't have, but that's no biggie. Now it's time for our heroes to finally feast. Eggs? That's a far cry from the delicious chocolate bars from the last round. You three big egg lovers, by any chance? What? Yeah, no, guess not. Katie, you're the bravest. Start us off already. Ew, a raw egg right in the mouth? That is beyond disgusting. <laughs> Ted won't be following her example. He's got what he thinks is a genius idea. We'll see. Hey man, be a bit more careful, would you? Oops. And what's this going to be? An egg smoothie? And it looks innocent enough, but the taste is just horrible. But who expected anything else? Oh no! What? Um, what's going on? Guys, any clue? I think this might be a special place for those who have already completed the egg round. But what about Monica? There's no saying no, my dear. That was an epic fall right into the pool made just for her. Raw eggs are everywhere. I wonder if she'll ever wash them all out of her hair and clothes. Not very nice to laugh at your friend. Ooh, I think all three of you may need a shower now. <gasps> oh no, peppers, things aren't getting any easier. And for one lucky contestant, this round is going to be crazy hot. Namely, Ted. Oh no! We feel for you, man, but you knew what you signed up for with this challenge. Katie takes the tiniest nibble from her chili and feels the burn immediately. Oh! <laughs> Blah. Monica picks up her peppers and takes a bite out of all three. That was so brave. Wash it down with water now! Ted knows what awaits him, and there is nothing he can do to change it. Do it, man. There's no turning back. The only way to douse those flames is with a bucket of water. Thank goodness their dishes came with plenty. Oh, poor Ted. He needs a minute or two. Hmm, that's it? One piece of gum? <laughs> Ted's sitting a bit prettier, to be sure. But the big winner is Miss Monica by a long shot. <clears throat> Katie isn't going to wait around. She pops her piece into her mouth. What? Turns out she's not exactly a master of blowing bubbles. But Ted thinks he can show everyone how it's done. He's got lots of practice in this field, but there's always a catch. Bubbles pop. Sooner or later. Ted, take your time and clean yourself up, bud. Oh. Monica isn't messing around at all. No tricks or funny business. She's simply shoving as much gum in her mouth as possible. And now she's going to show up even Ted's bubble. He's got nothing on her. This might be a world record. Someone call Guinness. Still a 
attached to her balloon, Monica starts floating upwards. So long, hun. Have a nice trip and hold on tight. Bye -bye. Did you enjoy our video? Share it with your friends, give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Until next time.